Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Crochet Shop by Nano. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to crochet a beautiful beanie. You will need your selected yarn. I will use Alize Super Lana Maxi, suitable crochet hook. I will use 5 millimeters crochet hook, measuring tape, scissors, and yarn needle. First, take your yarn and make a slip knot, then chain to make your band. Chain according to your selected size and measure like this. Then start to make a slip stitches in the second chain stitch, make one slip stitch, repeat this to finish all chains, make one slip stitch. After you finish the first row, chain 1 to make the next row, turn your work. In the first slip stitch, make one back slip stitch in the back loop like this. Repeat this to finish this row After you finished this row, to make the next row, repeat this row by chain 1 and turn your work. In the first slip stitch, make one back slip stitch like this. Repeat this row to finish your headband. Repeat this to finish your headband. Now start to measure your headband like this. 
according to your selected size. In this tutorial, I will make women size. So I will make 21 inch. Then chain one and start to close your headband like this. Take care, don't twist your work. Insert your hook in the first slip stitch and in the first beginning chain stitch together and make one slip stitch. Repeat this to close your headband and to make a ring, take care in the opposite stitches. After you close your work, chain two. To make round one, skip two back slip stitches rows. Between the next two back slip stitches rows, start to make one half double crochet stitch, chain one, another one half double crochet stitch, all in the same stitch. Repeat this. Skip two back slip stitches rows. Between the next two back slip stitches rows, start to make one half double crochet stitch, then chain one and another one half double crochet stitch all in the same stitch. Then repeat this. Skip two back slip stitches rows between the next two back slip stitches rows. Make one half double crochet stitch, chain one and another one half double crochet stitch all in the same stitch. Repeat like this to finish this round. After you finish this round, skip the last back slip stitches row, insert your hook in the chain 2 space, 
to close your round insert your hook and make one slip stitch to join to make round 2 chain 2 turn your work Before the first half double crochet shell, make one double crochet stitch in the first space. Then skip the first half double crochet shell between the next two shells make one v stitch by making one double crochet stitch then chain one another one double crochet stitch all in the same space between shells repeat this make one v stitch between half double crochet shells Repeat like this to finish the round number 2. After you finish the round number 2, skip the last half double crochet shell, then insert your hook in the first chain 2 space and make one slip stitch to join. Now to make round number 3, chain 1 and turn your work in the first space before the first shell stitch or V stitch, make one single crochet stitch. Now work in the round number 1, skip the first half double crochet shell stitch in the next half double crochet shell make one V stitch now I will work in the first round I will skip the last round and work before the last round so I will work in the first round and make V stitches in all half double crochet shell stitches. Repeat this to finish all half double crochet shell stitches. Repeat this to finish round number 3. After you finished all half double crochet shawl stitches in the first round, start to close by insert your hook in the first chain space. Take care in the first chain space. 
before single crochet stitch insert your hook and make one slip stitch to join now to make the round number four chain two turn your work in the first space before the first V stitch make one double crochet stitch skip the first V stitch between the next two V stitches before the last round in the V stitch space make one V stitch repeat this work before the last round between the next V stitches before the last round shell stitch or V stitch make one V stitch repeat this skip the last round and work before the last round in the V stitch make one V stitch Repeat this. After you finished round number four and finish the last V stitch, Now insert your hook in the first chain to space to join and make one slip stitch then chain one turn your work to make round number five repeat round number three After you repeat round number 3, repeat round number 4, then repeat round number 3, then repeat round number 4, repeat this. Measure according to your selected size or as you like. Now after you close the last round, chain 1. Then skip a piece of yarn by measuring measure a piece of yarn more than twenty inches. Then cut the yarn Pull the yarn with your hook like this and now work with the middle
Now insert your needle before and after double crochet stitches like this. Then pull the yarn. Repeat this to finish the last round. Now close your beanie head by pull the yarn like this. Then close it by hand sewing. Add a pom pom or any accessories as you like. Then fasten off to finish your work. Now your beanie hat is ready. Thank you for watching. If you like it, give me big thumbs up to see more. See you. Bye bye.